Good morning, friends. I'm so happy you chose to wake up with me, Phoebe, here at Yoga TX. We're gonna be doing a bunch of heart openers to elevate our energy, connect with our heart center and authenticity this morning. So we'll be starting on the ground and then step-by-step step, incrementally flowing up, doing some things up there and then coming back down. So if you'd like to get started, we're going to drape our bodies over a couple of blocks or towels. If you have blocks, we're gonna place one block here um, at this height, block behind a little higher. If this is too much for you, you can lower both of them down like that. I know that could be hard on your low back, especially in the morning when it's still tight and hasn't been flowing. And you wanna place this first one underneath your, for women, for the bra strap, <laughs> and for men, just at your shoulder blades. So the block ends where your shoulder blades end for total support. You want the back one to support your head so your neck is relaxed. And we're gonna center here. Okay, and take your time setting up. Make sure that the blocks are both flush with the ground so that you are stable. And option for legs can be up like this. If your low back is feeling creaky, what I would do is bring feet mat distance, knees collapsing in. You can opt to stretch your legs out as well or bring the feet together knees out really it's icing on the cake in this position whatever is best for you and sweetest for you and then we're going to bring palms facing up closing our eyes here and begin to breathe into and out of your chest as if you have a direct connection, almost like imagine you have a nose on your chest, which is really silly, but you're breathing directly into and out of your heart center here. Maybe sigh out through your mouth. Let yourself drape a little more. Inhale, feel your chest expand upwards. Exhale. Melt a little more over the blocks. Inhale, feel your chest expand, extend upwards, but also feel your back push down into the block. So breathing front to back here and exhaling, relaxing just a little bit more. Let your elbows get heavy, your bones get heavy. Your skin gets soft. Five more breaths here, connecting with your truest self. Even if the truest self is cranky right now or stiff. Learning to be authentic, moving from your heart into the world. effort we're gonna bring the hands alongside the body push into the earth with the forearms remove the blocks off to the side bring your legs together into your chest just enjoy your spine and back completely on the ground rocking left to right over that low back and then <clears throat> we're gonna set the feet down Cross the left ankle over the right thigh, flex that foot, and then inhale. Interlace your hands behind your right thigh. And just enjoy a gentle hip opener. Again, moving right to left like you're rocking a baby. Just being very gentle with ourselves. Come to center and reverse. Move to the other side. 
And you might find that one side is more tense or less tense, and that's expected. So just honor each side as its own unique part of your body. And then come to center here. We're gonna stretch the legs out, out to the corners of our mat. Inhale the arms up to the top corners of the mat like we're a little starfish and spread your toes and your hands and circle one direction. And then the other, just getting long, <sighs> relaxing everything to the ground. Keep the left hand and left foot where it's at and we're going to cross the right ankle over and we're gonna grab the right wrist with the left hand and we're gonna bend over in this banana shape or crescent moon. And we're gonna gently pull on the right wrist, pulling over to the left, breathing, feeling this stretch from your right ankle up the right side to your hip. And just feel what it's like to move from the inside out here. Letting your body be breathed. Three more breaths. I love this stretch, especially in the morning. I always feel like I'm dusting cobwebs out when I stretch my rib cage. And inhale, one last exhale. And then inhale, spring open, bring a little energy to it since we're waking up and move to the other side. Left ankle crosses over right. Gently pull the left hand with the right. Bend over here. And I like to try and square my shoulders to the earth as I bend over. Feels like a bit more traction for me. So if you wanna try that, and if that doesn't suit your body, then find, find another way to increase stretch if that's what you need. Inhale, spring open, yay! And come in, hug your knees into your chest. We're gonna come into a moving happy baby. So grab the outside of your feet with your hands. And we're gonna stretch one leg and roll over and then bend it, stretch the other leg. And do it two more times on each side. Just imagining <clears throat> You have curiosity about your body again, like kids and babies do. You know, we lose that, I think, when we grow up. Soles of feet come together, knees fall out to the side. Pull the heels down towards the hips. Take one deep inhale and exhale. And bring the knees together, rock and roll three times up to all fours. set up here in tabletop. Spread the fingers away from one another, waking up the hands, waking up the fingertips here. Let your belly get soft. Pull your chest through. Exhale, navel to belly. Inhale, come through. Exhale, push the ground away. Inhale, exhale, and we're gonna hold this one, pushing the ground away. Keep hollowing out the belly, maybe chin curls into throat, and breathe laterally, right to left, across the back. And inhale, come to neutral spine here. We're gonna stretch on out to our belly and come into flowing sphinx. So 90 degree angle with your arms, elbows underneath your shoulders, forearms parallel. And we're gonna keep 
the hands spread away from one another. I'm really rooting down into the earth. And at the same time, we're pulling the forearms in towards one another. Shoulders draped down the back. Breathe here. Keep your feet rooted into the earth and support. And imagine you're dragging yourself. So your chest is coming through. Your toes are getting long behind you. Inhale and then exhale. Let's come into that cat position. Navel to spine, knees stay on the floor. And then inhale, pull yourself through to come back into Sphinx. Exhale, push the ground away. Inhale, coming through to Sphinx. Although I'm exhaling there. Do what I say, not what I do, right? <laughs> push the ground away. Inhale, coming through. And then hold here. Keep pulling yourself forward. Inhale, and then exhale, look out over your left shoulder, pull the right shoulder back. Breathe into the right side neck. Imagine you have a long in the side of your neck, breathing in and out. And inhale to center. Exhale, move to the other side. Left shoulder pulls away from left ear. Dusting out the cobwebs here. And come back to center. Release down to your belly. Push back into active child's pose. Push into the earth. Elbows are off here. Breathe into your low back. Feel your sacrum decompress. And then keeping your right hand where it is, we're gonna weave the left arm underneath. Left ear may or may not come to the ground. If you want, you can always widen the knees out to the edges of the mat. If you wanna come a little lower and push into the earth, breathing into the back of the heart center here. So we always think of the heart center as in the front of our chest, but we also have a back door to the heart and it's important to stretch and strengthen this. And unwind, flip on over. Even here, move the shoulder away from the ear. Notice how you're feeling in the moment, physically, emotionally, energetically, noticing what is shifting. And unwind. Come on back up to tabletop. Knees come back if they were out mat distance. Look out towards the edge of your mat. Rotate, elbows pointing back towards you. It's gonna feel a little, a little weird if you're not used to it. Curl your toes, push back, downward facing dog. So this is the first one. Let's take it a little wider, help to support again the back, pedal your feet. Here are the cracks going on, call it the symphony. Keep pressing the ground away, navel to belly, bend your knees slightly or more than slightly to continue to lengthen your back here. Three more breaths. <sighs> Inhale, look up. Exhale, slowly begin. Elephant walk all the way up to the top of your mat. And release in a forward fold. <sighs> Grab opposite elbows. Swing side to side. And then come back to center. Let your chin curl into your throat if that's okay for your neck. Breathing length from your tailbone all the way down through the crown of your head. Now drop your fingertips, 
drop your hips, thighs parallel. Inhale, push up. Exhale, come to mountain pose. Take three deep breaths here as you come up, letting the blood pressure regulate. You might feel a little woozy. Um, sometimes I like that feeling. <laughs> Everybody's different. Close your eyes, palms face forward, fingertips are spread. Keep breathing into your chest. Inhale, look up, bring your palms together, slight back bend, bend your knees for support. And exhale, dive forward. Inhale, hands to shin, shoulders away from the ears, sitting bones widen. Exhale, release, drop your hips. Inhale, arms come up and meet. And again, bend your knees, belly engage, slight back bend to protect your back. Exhale, hands to heart center. And we'll do this two more times. Inhale, extend up, slightly bend back, come to center, forward fold. And when you fold here, navel to spine, bend your knees. This will protect your back. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, release. Drop your hips. Come back up. Option to just stay straight here or a slight back bend. Come down to mountain. Take a breath. One last time. Inhale, look up. Slightly bend back as you bend your knees forward. And fall forward here. <sighs> Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, release. This time, instead of coming up, we're gonna step the right leg back out to the right. And you want your entire back right foot on the earth, pressing out actively through that pinky toe is if you're trying to push into another person's foot that's right up next to it. And we're gonna inhale up, warrior one. Keep that front knee bent. If your shoulders are getting tense here, spin your pinkies in. Find your foundation. Um, one thing that actually really helped me, I'll show you guys, is you put your hands on your hip bones, I call these hip headlights and you want to make sure they're square to the front. And if you, you can't bring them square, you probably need to go wider. So step your left foot out to the left, and the right foot out to the right. And that should give you enough space to square your hips forward. Now that you're here, you also want the hips level. So you don't want one higher than the other. And once you got that, then you push out energetically through that back foot while the knee comes forward. It's a lot. <laughs> We're gonna inhale up again. Exhale, cactus arms, breathing from left elbow to right elbow. Keep your belly engaged. Inhale, no movement. Exhale, we're gonna bring the hands below, interlace them at our tailbone. Loop the shoulders up, back and down. Keep your knuckles there as we bend forward. <sighs> to the inside of our front leg, humble warrior. And you can bring the knuckles off your low back only if you feel stable. And then keep the elbows bent to exaggerate the heart opener that we're doing here. Five breaths. Keep the shoulders moving away from the ears even here. And then as if somebody is pulling you up by your hands, come back up, look back. Inhale up, straighten that front leg. Exhale, fold over and step the back leg back into a runner's lunge. 
right arm down, left arm up. Exhale, back down, bring the back foot to meet the front. Ah, forward fold. Drop your hips, push through your heels to rise up. And exhale, come through center. Take a breath. Feel if your heart has deepened or quickened. And the other side. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, release, other side. So left foot steps back, right foot stays where it is. Inhale, up. And again, take time to square your hips. Make sure they're level with one another. And then inhale, arms up, pinky spin in to relax the shoulders. And notice how opposing action kind of stabilizes you. So as this is pushing back, this is moving forward. And there's a stability in that. And two more breaths. Exhale, coming through cactus arms, widening across the chest. And then next exhale, interlace, maybe other thumb comes on top. Loop your shoulders up, back and down. And exhale, come forward into your humble warrior. Breathe. Option to lift your hands or not. Again, <clears throat> it doesn't matter what you did on the other side. Accommodate what is happening now. That is, that is really what true authenticity is. And then pushing through your feet, come back up, back bend. Inhale to neutral, straighten that leg, come forward. And then step that back, leg back. Coming into runner's lunge, left hand down, right arm up, neutralizing twist. Exhale, frame that front foot, and then step back into plank here. Lower down, knees, chest, chin, scoot on out. Inhale, mini cobra. Exhale, release. Push back into child's pose. Breathing into your low back once again. Slowing down your breath. Up to kneeling, we're gonna to come to our seat. And we're gonna come into a supported bridge. Last heart opener before we lay down. So grab your block once again. Lay down and then press into your feet and shift the block any height. I like mid height, but you could do low as well. Whatever's easier on your back. Arms can be alongside your body or out to the side. And just breathe here, five breaths. Enjoying a supported back bend. Starting to slow down gradually, grounding our energy so we can be connected to the earth and grounded in all that we do moving forward with our day. And press into your feet just a little bit to lift the hips, 
Remove your block to the side. Take a breath in a neutral spine here. And then hug your knees into your chest, bring your arms out like a letter T. And just drop your legs over to the left for three breaths. You might feel some popping going on. I know I just did. And as long as it doesn't hurt, then that's a good thing. Squeezing your legs together, come on up and fall on over to the other side. Remove anything that's in the way. Three to five breaths here. Everybody's breath pace is a little different. Coming back through center. Give yourself one last hug, maybe bringing knee to nose, just hugging yourself like, like the little kid that we all are <laughs> inside of all of us, maybe rocking. And then stretch everything away. And coming into Shavasana. Whew. And just fully relaxing. Feeling the tingling and the heat that you generated. And enjoying that. And if you still feel overheated, breathe out through your mouth, either through just some gentle open mouth, like this. Or you can breathe out as if you had a straw in your mouth and go, A really nice cooling breath. Let's do that together actually two more times. Inhale through the nose. Breathe out through a straw. And inhale one more time. Breathe out through a straw. Surrender effort. So option to stay here for as long as you like or as long as your schedule will allow. Otherwise, I'm going to stretch again, toes and fingers spread away from one another, circling wrists and ankles. And we're going to hug the knees into the chest and just roll on over to the right side or left side. And pause here, almost like we're reawakening. And push yourself up to seated. And get into a comfortable seat. Hands on your legs option to bring your hands in front of your heart. Thank you so much, yogis, for joining me and sharing your morning with me. It was a lovely practice, and I hope that this practice gave you some energy and some grounding to go out and face your day like the warriors that you are. Namaste. Whatever's pinned up there, breathe in space, and then exhale it out. Again, I welcome you to stay here longer if you need. If you're following me, we're gonna come back up to tabletop position.